Leanne Remont. I work for Inspire and I'd like to talk about how we can make our documents more accessible. As we recruit an ever more diverse student population, our students are entitled to reasonable adjustments. This means that it helps to design for every student's entitlement right from the outset. Sometimes we're not even aware of the obstacles that we've inadvertently created. Fortunately, there are some things we can do that are quite easy. An inclusive practice benefits everyone. For example, clear documents help people with dyslexia, vision impairment, as well as international and older students. allow us to be more inclusive as they can be adapted and transformed for multiple uses. A size 12 font is generally considered to be accessible. Capitals and italics are harder to read so consider using bold and underline instead. Using 1.5 or 2 times line spacing makes the sentence easier to read and provides students with room for note-taking. It is generally preferable to avoid hyphenation. Where possible, keep your sentences shorter than 65 words. Keeping your margins left justified keeps the spaces between the words even. Having space between paragraphs and not cramming too much on the page is easier on the eye. Having page numbers and headings in the same place helps people with visual impairments. Columns should be clearly separated. Please consult with any students who use a screen reader as these tend to read across the columns. The best contrast comes from black text on white or cream coloured paper. When creating PowerPoints, a blue background with a clear yellow font is easiest to read. Finally, some students need your handouts converted to text. Student Services and the Transcription Centre will do this for them, as they understand that some articles and most book chapters are difficult to obtain in digital format. However, it makes the task significantly easier for them if you photocopy your text straight across the page and as cleanly as possible. With proper forethought, we can prepare documents so that people with dyslexia and with visual disabilities can more easily use them. Using the technique that follows, documents can also be easily turned into a braille or daisy book. A daisy book is a sound file that allows quick searching and bookmarking. Phrases. I'm jump. You'll find that the document formatting process is fairly painless once you've learned it and as a bonus you'll be able to easily create a table of contents. Okay, 
Let's get started. Let's use a simple article format. I find it useful to write my headings in advance as an outline. This also makes it possible to apply the Heading 1 format to all of them in one go. To open the Style menu on the right, go to the Format menu and select Styles and Formatting from the sub-menu. Now select all the text and Heading 1. To simulate an article I'm writing, I'm going to paste some text under each heading. You can add as many subheadings as you like, but it's a good idea to keep it as simple as possible. Now I'll add a center justified title at the top of the document. From the Show Available Formatting menu, select all available options from the very bottom of the list. Then scroll right to the bottom to Title and apply it. Having applied styles, you can change the color, font and size very easily. Let's change our style by selecting Heading 1 and from the left hand menu selecting all instances of the style. Let's make them teal. This changes them all in one go. The headings let you easily navigate your document, which is very useful if it's long. To do this, go to the View menu and select Document Map. This shows your headings on the left-hand side. You can now click them to go to that section in your document. Did you know that if you now save your document as a web page and put it online, it will allow your students to do the same via their web browser? It is now a very simple thing to create a table of contents. Start by inserting a page break and then put your cursor where you want it. Now from the insert menu select reference and index and tables. Select a style you like and the number of levels and presto. RoboBraille is an excellent website that allows individuals to convert a text document to Braille, an MP3 audio file and even a daisy book for personal use. So, let's explore how that works for an audio file. To translate a document to speech, you only need to attach it to an email to send to their BritSpeech email address. Within a few minutes, you will receive an email response with links that allow you to play the file through your browser or to download it as an MP3. Some general observations on the use of RoboBraille formatting. RoboBraille responds well to general good practice in authoring MS Word documents. The main areas that need to be considered are to emphasize headings, paragraphs and sections so that they can be easily distinguished. A pause in speech can be added by using a lone, or in combination a semicolon, full stop, colon, styles headings 1 or 2, or tab or paragraph breaks. Robo Braille ignores other styles and brackets, no emphasis is given for sentences made up solely from capitals. Although the speech translation is of high quality, some endings tend to be lost, and some words are read literally such as misread. Acronyms like SME, HEA and QCA are mostly read accurately but some are read as words such as EARLS. If you wish to use the common acronym for example, you will need to use full stops. It is spoken of for instance. URLs are generally read without a problem except where the letters are read as a word for instance http colon slash slash www.inspire.anglia.ake.uk slash Symbols such as percent pounds dollars are recognized but the ampersand isn't and needs to be written in full. Numbers are only read for the first page, so you may wish to embed them in the text if these are important. As tables are read across, left to right, students with visual impairments may require simple tables with headings in the left column. This is something best decided with the individual student as the required simplification is not always acceptable. 
You may wish to increase or decrease the speed of the audio reading by adding up to three pluses or minuses in the title field of your email to britspeech at robobrail.org with your uploaded text, PDF or Word document. This current MP3 recording is at the default speed. Thank you.